Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm gonna make old school hip hop and of course for the samples we're gonna use Loop Cloud. So yeah, it's gonna be like a vintage old school hip hop beat. Let's get to it. So first we wanna find some samples. So let's just do hip hop and let's find something. Oh yeah, that drum sounded good. So. Let me go find some drum samples first. Also, let's put the Loop Cloud plugin in here so we can work with that and have it connected to FL Studio right on. Okay, drums. I can already imagine the beat. So let's do snare. Snare is like the main thing. Oh yeah, this is the one. Let's get this one. Also this one. As you can see, we can combine multiple samples here and preview them at the same time so how they would sound if they are alert which eventually i want to do so maybe one more okay now that we got it all free let's buy them let's just drag them in separately sounds pretty good we're gonna see if this is where we end up now we need a good kick as well clear all tracks and go for some kicks Oh yeah, this one. Let's get it. Let's start with 85 as BPM. Maybe less. Yeah, 70. And then do swing as well, which will sort of create this groovy hits. And let's see these snares. I want more of this, I think. And this one. This one can be lower in volume. Okay, as the basic drum beat, that's good. And we're gonna layer it with some loops as well. So I wanna go for loops and just do a percussion maybe. Okay, maybe this clap as well. No shaker. Maybe the wood block, that's pretty nice. Let's see, cymbals, loops. Oh yeah, damn, this is good. I like this rowdy rise. Damn, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna get all of these and drag them as separate files. And boom, let's see how it sounds. Everything is already in the right BPM. So let's preview it. Okay, it needs some work. Maybe get these rights instead, a bit less over the top. Okay, we're gonna see. Maybe we can switch between these two. The loops are good. Maybe the kick should be different. Yeah, because the drums are like the main thing about the song. So we really have to nail this. So I'm gonna work on them a little bit more and spend a little bit of extra time on the drums until I'm satisfied with them. So let's see. Maybe we can increase the BPM as well. Maybe 78 BPM. And this shouldn't be here. And Neither should this clap. And let's find a new kick as well. Okay, let's get this kick. So yeah, layering kicks. Not a thing people usually do, but it works, so it works. Okay, let's see, and maybe one more snare to just, so we nail this sound. This one. But also this one. So yeah, I'm gonna say it one more time. Selecting your samples is like half the work. If you get good samples, you're gonna get a good quality drum beat. So it's really important to spend some time selecting the right samples. So I have a few here, and let's see how they're gonna work together. Oh yeah, now it's way better because Without these two, it's like you have that reverb -y snare, but you don't have that initial hit. But with these two, this one, 
and this one, you have that cool snare, you know? So, after working on the drums, selecting the samples, this is the drum beat I ended up with. We can do one variation here. Maybe one more like drum fill at the end here. Yeah. And I, I think I'm gonna delete the reverb from this. So shorten it. Maybe lower the pitch. So we have a different color for the snare pretty much. Yeah, that sounds better. What if we put sound goes there? So yeah, I'm gonna put some goodies here on the snare, which is gonna add a little bit of compression, so the snare is gonna play a little bit longer, or so it will seem like it's playing a little bit longer. Anyways, so that's our drum beat right there. Nice. Now let's move on to the more exciting stuff, which is finding some sampled melody loop. Let's go through some more packs. And let's see, what I'm looking for is melodic and loops. Okay, so a nice thing we can do is we can actually preview these samples in the song before even purchasing them. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, because I wanna actually have the beat playing while I'm playing the samples. So just put it in here, probably make it louder. Uh, actually, let's just right away put sound goods on it so it's really obvious in the mix. And let's just hear how it sounds like in the song. <laughs> like that, that's the first one I tried and it's already pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with this one right away. Let's see if we can do some patterns here. Oh yeah, we can do this in the beginning and then it's gonna start. Let's just see. Let's just do this automation because you can hear some clicks. So we're just gonna remove those. And also I wanna put some effects on it, like reverb. Just a little bit. And maybe some, oh, what's wild stuff, huh? Oh yeah, we can do vinyl stuff as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, first let's do it without it. And let's uh, get a sample, drag it in here. Let's move this around. And then the second one, we're gonna do the vinyl stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And now we're gonna drag that as well. Then we just get the sample without any effects as well. So we're gonna reset it and just take this as well. Now we have the start of the song. Okay, now we can do a little bit of cutting in FL Studio where I wanna create sort of a melody here with it. So I'm gonna make unique. I'm gonna lower it. Like this. And maybe this. I think we delete this last one. Um, so we have it more on uh, on the grid. And I'm just gonna use the stretch tool in FL Studio. Stretch it out like so. I think that works. Okay, so far so good, I like it. Uh, we have some nice beginning here. But now to like seal it off, we need proper bass. So 
I want to make it from scratch because I love making the base. And I'm going to use contact here and this Rickenbacker bass plugin. And this is going to make the whole beat pop. So it's going to be like. <laughs> Maybe something like that. What do you think? Let's get it. I think B3. Okay, that could be it. Let's see. Okay, that works, but of course the sample, it doesn't work with this key. And we could like lower it, but I feel like it won't work. So if we do minus five, That sort of works, I guess. And now we want to have the same thing, but on this level. Okay, let's see. Okay, I lower it by 500 semitones and it actually works with the bass, so that's nice. Now we have to also do the other ones and just lower it by 100 more. Okay, so we have a basic old school hip hop beat going. We need some change up here as well. So we can do a little fill at the end here. Just cutting it. And then we're gonna hit it with the rowdy rides and we're gonna change it up or add more sounds. So maybe we can have the same thing as well, along with another loop. So let's uh, search for some more. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna test this out as well. And for the key, it's B as well. So just lower it a lot. And maybe we can have it like this. It was just an idea. I don't think that's what I want to have. Okay, actually, if we just do something like, okay, let's go back to loop cloud. Let's do effects on this. And I want to make it more subtle. So I think I'm going to use, what's the tone box? Low fight. Maybe we can have it more crunchy there. Uh, let's do reverb. Let's see. Yeah, something like this. And let's do another effect. And that's going to be filter. Let's do just dark. And now let's take the sound and it's just going to be in the beginning like this. And the last one, let's uh, add a lot of reverb on it in FL Studio, just like a long reverb. And would it work in the second repetition as well? I don't like it as much there. So I just think so I just think I'm going to use it as a little effect that's there just sometime. Yeah, so just a subtle effect there. I think what we can do is try to find some rap vocals, but before we do that, let's just do some cymbals as well. It needs some crashes. So let's just take this crash, let's lower it. 
Okay, now let's go for some rap vocals if we can. So I'm gonna do rap, and yeah, there's a bunch of them, like a cappellas. So let's see what we can get. We're looking for something in like 78 BPM. So let's preview some. Got a bandana and a b-ball cap, 360, the boy must rap. Got a bandana and a b-ball cap, 360, the boy must rap. Oh, that's how it sounds when the gun go clap, and the boys run around with a b-ball bass. Everybody come with the arms up. Russian. <laughs> Russian rap vocals. Okay, let's check this. Let's try another one. Money make the... Money make the world go round Money make these hoes go down I swear it's ridiculous My friend's standing in the f Oh shit, that's actually good uh, Okay Like all about my paper like that nigga Damn, that's good Okay, we have the vocals in I like these a lot Final thing is to put the limiter on it So we don't clip And yeah guys, that is it for the song We found some great samples on Loop Cloud And now let's preview the whole thing guys there you have it again it's all about the sample selection and then just playing with the samples cutting them up and stuff like that it's always good fun to play with beats like this and i think the result is pretty good thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye